Okay, sure. Hi, Mike. This is Colleen. Hello. How are you? Hello, I'm well. Uh, is it Colleen? Good. Can you tell your people to bump your volume a ton? I can barely. Hear really? You. Okay. Yeah. Do you guys hear that? You can't hear me very well. Okay. How's the level now? Sorry. How's the level now? No difference. We'll, uh, you know, we'll. I'll just we'll, we'll give it a try here. Uh, we'll be oh, on the shoot. air in about. Uh, well, not about. We'll be on the air in thirty seconds. At the end okay. of our conversation, I will be uh, politely thanking you for talking with me. <laughs> then I got to hang up on you because I still have more stuff to do on the air. Just now. Oh, sure, sure. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Cool. Uh, stand by. Something you can do in five minutes? Get a clean car at Ship Shape Car Wash on Alaska and La Crosse's South Side. Wash your car more than once a month? A monthly pass is going to save you money. Your car isn't clean till it's ship shape. On the Crosstalk on WIZMI, Mike Hayes, May is National Pet Month. So many questions. You know, the usual tips for caring for your pet and feeding your pet and making sure that your pet is okay on days that get super hot and I guess we're done with the super cold kind of days, but I and and cloning is that still a thing? Our guest on the crosstalk for National Pet Month is an expert. On, well, I don't know, Colleen Burns. Are you an expert on pet cloning, Colleen? <laughs> well, Sorry. I don't claim to be an expert. I know an awful lot about it, but I won't claim to be an expert. Is that still a thing? People want to clone their pets because my favorite dog is getting old and and uh, is going to die pretty soon, but I want that favorite dog to live on again. Is that the, I don't know. Why would you want to clone your pet? Well, it actually is not a thing um, still. It, it's becoming a bigger thing, actually. People, okay. as a pet parent, they think about losing their pet one day, and it's really tough. And, you know, they use the term that love lasts forever, if you can store some of your pet's genetic material, even if you're not sure you want to clone your pet, the technology keeps getting better. Um, the cost has come down for cloning horses, for example, in half. So it's something to consider. It's $1,600 right now if you just want to store that genetic material without making any decisions. And then that material is stored with um, Biogen Pets, and they'll hang on to that for you. And if you decide one day you do want to clone your dog or your cat, it's 50000 for a dog, 35000 for a cat. Yes, it's not inexpensive, but for people who consider the pet part of their family, um, it's not much different than sending a, a child to college, for example, or paying for a wedding. Right. Uh, and I, I get it. I, I don't want to get too deep in the weeds of, of cloning your pet because I, have un I understand that once the pet is uh, cloned and born and you get it. It isn't the same. The, the dog isn't the same dog. The dog doesn't know everybody and know everything and act exactly right. the way the previous dog came from. It's just a dog that you would consider uh, from the same litter, right? Pretty much. It's kind of like having a twin. It's The temperament yeah. and the intelligence are supposed to be very similar, right. but yes, it's a different dog. Yes. I have twin sons. They are not cloned. They're legit twin sons. And they don't even look alike, <laughs> never mind act the hmm. same. So, so I don't yeah, know. Let yeah. me ask you about uh, uh, COVID and your pets, because I, I, when I mentioned that we were going to talk this morning, uh, one of my listeners sent me a text. Ask, ask her if you can get COVID uh, from the, the dog who lives in a house that has a, a residence that may have had COVID. Can you pet a dog and get COVID? I don't believe so. I think the most of the research has shown that even um, surfaces, uh, it's becoming less and less um, clear that you can get something from the surface unless someone happened to have just sneezed on their hand, touched the surface, and you touched that surface immediately afterward, which sure. is pretty rare. Uh, but a dog or, or cat, they're soft surface. It's not even, you know, as transferable as a hard surface. So, no, I, I don't think so. And, you know, it, it is National Pet Month, and I, I do want to spend just a, a moment here talking about how to give back to these furry friends of ours who give us unconditional love. My French bulldog is sitting here with me right now. She's helping me with this interview. So you might hear a little bit of a noise behind. I wish you could see her. She's adorable. But, you know, dog treats are a great way to show love. Um, and there are a lot of dog treats out there. But I have done some research, and there are two new products 
from nudges that I really like. They're jerky bones and jerky chews. They're all natural. They're made with real beef, real chicken. Uh, they're longer lasting because the bones have two layers, chicken layer, real chicken on the outside with an inside that's real protein and the jerky chews, which come in chicken and now beef, they have a layer of real beef jerky on the outside surrounding a chew. So they're just a really nice um, special treat that you don't give them every five seconds, but they're a longer lasting chew. So they'll enjoy it longer and um, they'll feel loved. I'm sure. So you can post at the pet aisle at any retail store near you. You can also find them at nudgesdogtreats.com. Um, another a quick little product. Yeah, I yeah. like this a lot. I, I just found this one. It's called um, a hands-on glove. And you can't see this as well, unfortunately, but um, you can go to their website, handsonglove.com, and you can get 20% off right now so you can see what they look like. But they're little gloves, not little. They come in all different sizes. So this one's kind of small. Purple, green, black. They have little rubber uh, nodules on the inside of these gloves. So you can use them to just pet your pet. You can use them to de-shed and groom and bathe. At the same time, they just think they're being massaged. And it does. It helps massage oh. their muscles. It helps increase their circulation. But at the same time, you're getting your hands are staying clean, and they're getting groomed without really knowing about it. They're award-winning. They're cool to check out. I mean, they're about $25, but $20 right now with this um, 20% off a deal going on right now and free shipping, too. So you might want to check that out. Awesome. Absolutely. My dog loved, my dog loved the vacuum. Uh, he, mm-hmm. he knew when he got the vacuum out, he thought, oh, boy, mom's dad's going to get me. He's going to brush <laughs> me and tickle me and clean me, and that's going to be awesome. My mom's cat oh, that's so... would hear the vacuum cleaner and run so far, so fast. Uh, oh, she my goodness. Had nothing to do with that. You can't sneak up. Are you still there? 